The biblical account of the ten plagues of Egypt is a captivating and intriguing narrative that has fascinated scholars and theologians for centuries. These ten devastating disasters, described in the book of Exodus, were said to have been unleashed upon Egypt as a series of divine punishments, ultimately leading to the liberation of the Israelites from slavery. The plagues included events such as locust swarms, darkness, the transformation of water into blood, and the death of the firstborns. When exploring the historical context of the plagues, it is important to consider that the Exodus story is believed to have taken place around the 13th century BCE, during a time when ancient Egypt was ruled by the pharaohs. While the biblical narrative provides a religious interpretation of these events, it is intriguing to investigate whether they have any correlation with natural phenomena that occurred in ancient Egypt during that period. One of the most well-known plagues is the infestation of locusts, which is described as a massive swarm devouring all vegetation in its path. Locust swarms were not uncommon in ancient Egypt, as the region's climate and geography were conducive to the breeding and migration patterns of these insects. Consequently, it is plausible that an unusually large and destructive locust swarm afflicted Egypt during the time of the Exodus, leading to widespread devastation and famine. Another notable plague described in the biblical account is the Plague of Darkness, during which Egypt was enveloped in total darkness for three days. While a complete absence of light for such an extended period appears miraculous, some scholars propose that a severe sandstorm or an eclipse may have caused a period of intense darkness in ancient Egypt. These natural phenomena would have caused temporary darkness and had a profound psychological and economic impact on the Egyptian society of that time. The transformation of water into blood, the first of the ten plagues, has also intrigued scholars. While there is no definitive explanation for this event, some have suggested that it could have been the result of a natural phenomenon known as a red tide. Red tides occur when certain types of algae bloom in bodies of water, releasing toxins and causing the water to turn a reddish color. If such an event occurred in the Nile River, which was vital to the livelihood of ancient Egyptians, it would have had devastating effects on their crops, livestock, and overall well-being. The final and most devastating plague involved the death of the firstborns throughout Egypt. This event, which proved to be the breaking point for the pharaoh, is often seen as the climax of the Exodus narrative. While the exact cause of this catastrophe remains a subject of debate, some scholars have suggested that it could have been the result of an epidemic or outbreak of a disease that predominantly affected the firstborn children. In unraveling the historical context of the ten plagues, it is important to acknowledge that the biblical account is a religious text, and its purpose is not solely to provide a scientific or historical explanation for the events described. The narrative is intended to convey the power and intervention of God in the liberation of the Israelites. Whether the plagues of ancient Egypt were miraculous occurrences or had natural explanations, exploring their historical context and potential correlation with natural phenomena adds depth to our understanding of this biblical account. It allows us to appreciate the complexities of the ancient world and the intertwining of religious beliefs, historical events, and natural phenomena. Continuing the exploration of the plagues of ancient Egypt, it is worth noting that the interpretation of these events as either miraculous or natural phenomena is not mutually exclusive. For believers, the plagues are seen as divine interventions orchestrated by God to bring about specific outcomes, while others may seek natural explanations without discounting the possibility of divine involvement. The plagues not only served as divine punishments, but also targeted specific aspects of Egyptian society and their religious beliefs. For instance, the transformation of water into blood directly challenged the Egyptian reverence for the Nile River, which they considered sacred. This plague could be seen as a symbolic confrontation of their gods and a demonstration of God's superiority over the deities of Egypt. Furthermore, the progressive escalation of the plagues, starting with less destructive ones and culminating in the death of the firstborns, could be seen as a deliberate strategy to demonstrate the impotence of the Egyptian gods and the overwhelming power of the God of the Israelites. It is through this lens that the plagues are often interpreted as miraculous occurrences that were meticulously orchestrated to serve a higher purpose. However, from an historical perspective, it is essential to consider the potential natural explanations for these events. Ancient Egypt was located in a region prone to various natural disasters, such as locust swarms, dust storms, and epidemics. 
These phenomena could have occurred independently or in conjunction during the time period of the Exodus, amplifying their impact on Egyptian society. It is worth noting that the biblical account of the plagues describes them as extraordinary and unprecedented, surpassing the magnitude of typical natural events. This could be seen as an intentional emphasis to highlight the divine nature of these occurrences and their purpose in the liberation of the Israelites. The debate between natural explanations and miraculous interventions regarding the plagues of ancient Egypt is ongoing and will likely continue to captivate scholars and theologians. While the search for natural correlations is fascinating and provides valuable insights into the historical context, it is important to approach these investigations with an understanding of the religious and symbolic significance attributed to the plagues within the biblical narrative. The plagues of ancient Egypt, whether interpreted as supernatural or natural events, hold a significant place in religious, historical, and cultural discourse. They serve as a reminder of the power of faith the complexities of ancient civilizations, and the profound impact of extraordinary events on the course of history. Moreover, the plagues of Egypt have left a lasting impact on human consciousness and cultural imagination. The biblical account has been retold and interpreted in various artistic and literary forms, reinforcing its significance in religious traditions and popular culture. The plagues serve as a powerful symbol of divine justice, deliverance, and the triumph of the oppressed over their oppressors. The story of the plagues and the subsequent liberation of the Israelites from slavery has become a universal narrative of hope and liberation, resonating with diverse communities throughout history. Beyond their religious and cultural significance, the plagues of ancient Egypt also offer valuable insights into the socio-political landscape of the time. The Exodus narrative highlights the struggle for freedom and the resilience of a marginalized people against a powerful ruling empire. It sheds light on the dynamics of power, oppression, and resistance that continue to shape human societies. The plagues also invite reflection on the consequences of human actions and the ethical implications of power. The Pharaoh's refusal to release the Israelites despite witnessing the devastation caused by the plague serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of pride, arrogance, and the disregard for the well-being of others. The biblical account of the ten plagues of Egypt presents a fascinating blend of historical events, religious symbolism, and cultural significance. While some propose natural explanations for these events, others view them as miraculous occurrences. Exploring the historical context behind the plagues and their potential correlation with natural phenomena adds depth to our understanding of this ancient narrative. Regardless of the interpretations, the plagues have left an indelible mark on human consciousness and continue to inspire contemplation, reflection, and discussion about faith, liberation, and the human condition.